Hello everybody, I'm Skylar and I'm not a good reseller and we got another weekend haul video for you guys. It's a little lighter this weekend, but we still picked up a good amount of stuff, so let's go ahead and go over them. Uh, mostly clothes and one pair of shoes and then a little something on the side that I got for myself. So, since we have mostly pants, let's go over those. These ones here. All right. So these are kind of khaki style pants. It's the brand Orvis. They kind of mostly do like fishing shirts and stuff like that. Uh, or, you know, fishing clothes. And yeah, so I picked these up for, and look, you know, so I guess the people at that store, not too many resellers lurking around because this was able to get discounted twice down to $2. So I was able to pick these bad boys up for just $2. Should get that on that $15 mark. Most of these jeans that I got here are pretty much that $15 mark. Uh, not too many brands that are like, oh my goodness, that's like a new brand I've never seen before. Or, you know, oh, this is one I've seen in the past. Oh my goodness. So, uh, but yeah, but even though I say that, I have gotten quite a bit pair of shorts this week and those have interesting brands. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right. So here are old bread and butter <laughs> Levi jeans. And I did a little more research on the Levi's guys. And at least for me, you know, for what I try to get out of these pair of jeans, it seems like the 541 is like the sweet spot in terms of demand. Uh, they're the ones that kind of have the best percentage sell-through rate as opposed to like the 550s, 560s, 569s, all the other ones, I, I believe... There could be some other ones that I haven't researched yet, but out of the ones that were available at the store at the time, uh, the 541s had the best. I mean, it was like, I mean, some people would say, oh, it's not that great sell through rate, even, you know, even at that, but it was like 2000 sold and like 3,500 listed. So that's pretty good. And yeah, the percentage might not be there, but from my perspective, so many of these sell that that means that it's quick in regards to like as long as you're one of the like 200 that sell that day then you're good whereas if it didn't sell as, as much it was still a good percent you know you still could be waiting a couple of days because it would be a couple of days till only one sells even though there might be only 10 listed you know what i mean so you know i'm pretty confident these will sell quickly and you know i'll get my you know, the double my money, you know, $15-ish range. And I know I have another pair in there somewhere, so we'll go digging in there. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and do a pair of shorts. These ones were interesting because I don't believe I've picked up a shorts pair. And I believe the only time I've ever really picked up this brand was sweaters. So that's cool. But yeah, the North Face. So I got a pair of the North Face shorts, paid $3, should get around, I'd say, $13 to $15 range. And luckily, shorts are in season, so it should sell relatively quickly. You know, I am still would expect for it to be about a month, but that's pretty good. And all right, now let's go ahead and go over an interesting one. And surprisingly, I, this, I, I'll let you guys decide. Leave in the comments. Would you be more excited to see this brand that I'll show here? And then I'll show another pair of shorts. And you tell me, if you saw these in the store, I know this is kind of tailored toward uh, clothing people in terms of this question. Uh, which one would you be more excited about seeing in terms of the brand? So let's go over it here. All right. So these are like swim trunks, board shorts, whatever you want to call them. And this is Howler Brothers. Yep, Howler Brothers. Heard about them, have yet to find them until now. And I got it for $3.50, so I'm glad about that. And while it does sit at that $15 range, you know, they have a good uh, percentage sell through. So that's really good. And then let's go over the other pair. It's over here. I'll have to rummage a little bit. I didn't, you know, necessarily plan this out. <laughs> so let me go ahead and grab it. Hopefully I grab the right one. Oh, 
Oh man, guys. <laughs> Never mind. All right. So let's adjust that question. There's actually three. So Haller Brothers was the first one. Yes, here we go. Here's the second one. All right. So, you know, just your standard. I mean, look, if you saw this, I'm not even saying what the brand is yet. If you saw this, would this excite you? No, right? It just looks like a standard plain pair of shorts. At least with the Haller Brothers, which I have on the ground here, <laughs> it has a cool design to it. So, you know, you could be attracted to it on the, um, on the rack because of its design. So you have that. But this, this blends in with everything else. So unless you got that keen eye of brands, you're not gonna see it. But, Mack Weldon. Yeah, so this is on my bingo card of clothes brands. So yeah, Mack Weldon shorts. And kind of the same story with Haller Brothers, uh, where, yeah, it's $15, but it's for, so this is kind of the factor here. It $15, but I might be able to save a little bit on the shipping because they're cheaper to ship than jeans. So I could probably do first class and I might be able to adjust that 15 up. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so Mack Weldon shorts, good sell through, $15, shouldn't be a problem. And then, <laughs> look at that. I kind of teased it. I know I got those keen eye viewers here. Uh, but yes, this one got me excited too. And these, all three of these were at the same Goodwill, at a Goodwill, right, surprisingly? Oh, and I should emphasize that, let's see, those Mack Weldon shorts. Okay, those Mack Weldon shorts are $5. But remember, the question is just for the brands, not for the price I paid for them and how much profit. All right, but these ones got me excited too. So these are kind of like fishing shorts, if you will. I mean, you can use them for like trail and things like that too. But, uh, and I always get this one confused. So AFTCO, AFTCO, I always confuse it when I see it because I think it's an AFICO, but it's not. So kind of keep an eye out for that whenever you're uh, thrifting and you're trying to compare them and you look them up and you're like, no, eh, there's not really anything for them, so they must not be good sellers. Make sure you spell it right, guys, because these are, you're going to want to find them. And yeah, spent $5, but these ones... I think I could get 18. It was, I think it was a little bit better. Um, and the sell through is really great on those. So all three of those brands, I would say within a month, they'll probably all sell. So yeah, leave in the comments out of those three, which one you think is number one in your opinion. All right. And let's go ahead over uh, to shirts to mix it up a little bit. And this was actually an interesting uh, purchase here. We'll go ahead and I'll just grab all these here, go over them kind of relatively quickly. But I went to one church thrift store and they basically had four of these like buttoned up fish style Columbia shirts, size XL. And I paid $3 a piece for them. So I got four shirts, three of them. So I spent $12 and guys, I mean, look at the designs on these, right? Pretty cool. I mean, I would wear them myself. That's probably the best part about this too. Excel's my size. So if for some magical reason these don't sell, I can just add them to my own collection, right? One of the benefits I always talk about in reselling. So yeah, all those look pretty cool. I checked them out as far as I know. There's no stains on them. If there are, you'll find out on that death pile video in the future. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited about these. Um, I would say 13 to $15 range on each. So, you know, just selling two of them, I'd get my money back and then two for profit. Fantastic. And I'll contemplate bundling up, but I probably won't. Put those aside here. All right. Let's go ahead and finish off this section up here. All right. Okay. So even though I just knocked on it about it not having as good a sell-through rate as the other ones, I did go ahead and pull for $6 at a Goodwill Levi 560s. I think while these weren't as great, they were uh, good enough. And if I remember correctly, and I'm starting to do it a little more, guys, on these jeans, I'm actually comping out the exact size of them. So as opposed to just you know, typing in Levi 560s, 
and just seeing what the sell-through rate is, I'm actually typing in, uh, let me see what these ones were. Typing in, I mean, these, ooh, 50 by 30 on these ones. But, you know, yeah, it's a big size. But I have sold bigger in the past, as you guys know, I've seen, I've sold 54s. And I believe I looked it up and it had good sell-through rate, especially for $6. So, yeah. But, you know, that one, $15. I'll say $15 on most of these guys. But as you know, if you've seen my What's Sold videos, I usually take offers as low as 13 And the way I kind of do my shipping with the shipping discount that I get, it kind of balances out to where I, for the most part, double my money. So... All right, next pair of jeans. <laughs> oh, we love them, right? All right, so another pair, $6, Levi 559. And these are size 44 by 30. That's a pretty common size. And when I say common, I mean that's it's a kind of a good size to sell. Like you're not kind of you're not getting like a really a regular size that isn't going to sell uh, kind of situation. You know, like at least for people that know clothing, you know, for the most part, the bigger sizes do better. So this is kind of like your medium, if you will, kind of in the middle. So yeah, 44 by 30, Levi 559 should get $15, 13 on a best offer, spent six. And while the other ones would probably take a month, that one might take two. So. All right, one more pair of shorts here. So I've sold this brand in the past, so it got me excited when I found these. And it's in shorts, so we're in that season, so let's see if they can play ball. And I spent $5 on these. These are mountain khaki shorts. Classic fit, 40 inch waist. And that's gonna be another, we'll just say 13 bucks for them. Spent five. All right, let's go over the last pair of shorts and get those out of the way. Even though I am really excited. Like I said, I mean, for all you guys that have seen my past haul videos, you know, I may have one or two pairs of shorts in them or ones that are like zipped where it could be turned into shorts. But yeah, so like just out of nowhere, boom, short, 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 shorts. And I'm excited because like I said, we're in that season. So, all right, so these ones, uh, for this one in particular, this brand, it's Quicksilver. You're going to want to look up the model uh, on these uh, so like these ones are amphibians, Quicksilver kind of swim trunks, board shorts, just because not all the models of Quicksilver are created equal. So you'll want to kind of keep an eye out on that because if you just type in Quicksilver shorts, you're going to get a whole range of prices and, and sell through percentages, guys. So yeah, do a little research, especially when you're like me and you pay up of $5 and that should get around that $15 mark. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about something that isn't just a paid five turn into 15, <laughs> and it's down here. So this is the only, I guess, technically not a clothes item thing that I bought. In terms of reselling, there is something personal over here, which we'll go over in a little bit. But yeah, so these are Echo Biome Golf Shoes, men's shoes. Uh, they do need a little clean up at the bottom. They're kind of an experimental cleanup, guys. They're a little bit, I don't know how you describe it. If there's like a way I can kind of make this like leathery part softer, I would do it. So I'm gonna clean these up and we're gonna see if we can sell them. I spent $8 on them. Uh, with these shoes though, these are the ones that like have like a really high retail. I should say like these new are selling for over $100. And when you see used, they're going for like 50. So in my head, I was thinking I could probably get these cleaned enough to feel comfortable to sell them for 30. So turning eight into 30, you know, I feel good about that. All right, let's go over these shirts, those jeans, and then we'll call it a day. But first, just because I put it in my head right now, let's go over what I got on the side. Not exactly the most exciting thing, but you know, hey, if you're out and about shopping, you may as well buy some personal stuff if it's cheap and a good price, right? So what I did, we're gonna be doing a little landscaping around the house. So they had these like little weed barrier things to set down. 
so I could put that in my front yard. And they were just 50 cents a piece, so dollar total, not bad, not bad. All right, let's go to this. So this is a Woolrich shirt, button shirt. Spent $3 on it, should get about, we'll say $12.50. And at first I was knocking the Woolrich shirts. I was like, you know, in my head for some reason, I just thought, you know, Woolrich was overhyped for the, for the way I run my store, for the way I do things. Like it just wasn't working for me. I've had, I've, you know, seen YouTube videos of other resellers that have had success with the brand. And for me, it just wasn't working. But then what I did and what I've been doing is double checking myself. So I go into my active listings and I'm like, okay, what Woolrich do I actively have listed right now? And surprisingly, for some reason, I thought differently than what it actually was. So I only had one shirt and it was one that I recently listed because it was in my death pile. So this whole time in my head, I'm thinking Woolrich doesn't sell. And it turned out I just really had none listed in the one that I had sold. But for some reason in my head, I was thinking I still had Woolrich when I didn't. And so, you know, whenever, you know, that happens, like, yeah, you haven't sold anything Woolrich related in a long time because you don't really have anything listed, buddy. So, yeah. So let's give them another shot, right? <laughs> so, yeah, Woolrich, $3, should get $12.50. All right. So for this shirt, it was so cheap, willing to take a hit on it. Uh, the brand does okay, even though it is like what people call a mall brand. So Abercrombie and Fitch. So this one I bought for three fifty at a church thrift store. And then the thing about this one, uh, I looked up, you know, muscle. That's the style of it, and it was doing relatively decent. And it's a two XL, so the bigger size the better, right, guys? So I figured I'd give that one a shot. Okay, I was kind of excited about this one. So I didn't have much with like, uh, man, what was it? I can't even remember. Anyways, <laughs> there was some brand that's similar to these ones where I didn't have as much luck, but this one is the one that's like above that. So yeah, Patagonia, guys. We all hear about it from all the other resellers, how great this brand is. Patagonia finally found one. Buttoned up shirt, organic cotton. Has a relatively decent design to it not just a plain old button shirt and I spent five dollars on this and hoping to get 15 for it <laughs> now this is a fun shirt I think it's just like bright enough it's pretty fun right hey <laughs> Easter time or something especially this summer so hopefully this one does well long sleeved cool blue style shirt and it's untuck it guys untuck it so something to be on the lookout for has relatively good sell through rate the only thing to watch out for is that they don't sell for as much as you would think or I just say it probably has gone down a little bit in recent years so I spent five dollars and probably gonna get uh, 13 to 15 as opposed to in the past I'd be all like oh spend five dollars get eighteen dollars and I have sold untucked shirts in the past for that price or you know maybe a little more but I've kind of lowered my expectations since then uh, so I'm like, okay, five and a 15 is kind of realistically where it's at right now. And yeah, so untuck it. It is medium. I've sold extra larges and larges in the past. So time to see how a medium size does. All right. And then the last shirt, I have never sold this brand before. I was surprised how good the sell through rate was. It kind of reminds me of Vineyard Vines just in terms of the style. Uh, but it is Southern Marsh. So yeah, Southern March. You can research it and give your opinion on it if you guys think it was a brand worth picking up. It's got a little like uh, bird there. Pretty cool design. And yeah, so I spent three fifty on it, and it was looking like fifteen dollar range, but a little better than average sell through rate. And it feels really nice. All right. Going over the jeans. All right. <laughs> so these were $3. Because they were only $3, that's why I kind of hopped on them. So Hollister jeans. Another like mall brand. But I was like, hey, at $3, I'm willing to take a stab at it because 
I feel like worst case scenario, I could get a $12 offer and sell it. So went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Now, some of these might seem like an obvious, like, you know, oh man, you were on a roll. You got like all this really good stuff. The Hallow Bros, the North Face, the uh, Mark Weldon shirt, uh, shorts. And it's like, and then you come up to the, like the, the Levi's, the Hollister, the things like that. And yes, I mean, part of it's me being not a good reseller. Uh, you know, welcome to my channel. Uh, but also, as I've mentioned in the past, where depending on the time of week, that the sourcing's taking place. So like that one, some of the like worst buys kind of line in with early on in my sourcing week where I'm really trying to like start the momentum of getting things sourced um, because I don't want to have a weekend where I end up with like not a lot of stuff and then I'm thinking in my head, you know, as opposed to having nothing should I have just bought the Levi's? Should I have just bought the Hollister jeans to at least have some money coming in as opposed to just sitting on it and having nothing? Um, and yes, that's probably contradictory to things I've said in the past. You know, reselling not only is like eBay sales fluctuate a lot, but you know, you'll see resellers, myself, probably the most, including myself, um, fluctuate on like their views of the business. It just kind of goes with it. You know, things change a lot in this business, this type of business, and so do the resellers themselves. So, you know, yeah, you might see some resellers contradicting themselves, but I wouldn't knock them really for it. It's just what it is. All right, a couple more pairs of jeans. Here they are. I gave you the little teaser earlier. These are the 541 jeans, 44 by 30. And I spent five dollars on these, and they should sell for fifteen, hopefully within a month. Okay, maybe I flubbed a little bit. I apologize. Uh, so, and actually ended on a high note. I think this is interesting because I could be wrong. It's a slight gamble, you know. We will see, but it's a pair of true religion jeans and these these were in the men's section but then I did the pocket trick and they were very tiny pockets so I was like oh these belong in the women's section well then I went over to the women's section and I was looking at like how uh, women's jeans are sized and the numbers didn't line up at least I mean I probably am completely wrong and I'm gonna regret saying this but you know so these jeans were size 30, and as far as I know, women's jeans don't go that big. You know, I, when, at least whenever I was in the section, it was like 11, 12, you know, around there. So I was thinking, maybe this is an exception to that rule, guys. Maybe these are actually men's jeans that have small pockets. You know, maybe that's just this for this particular true religion jean style. And which one? So these are uh, Billy. Section Billy jeans here's like the badge for them if you guys happen to know you can leave in the comments although i'll probably have them listed before you leave a comment and i get this video uploaded <laughs> but yeah so i'll do a little more research we'll see if they're men's or women's jeans and believe it or not with these i mean that's the difference between them being worth it or not uh unfortunately because i spent six dollars but the women's true religions jeans have bad sell-through rate and not as much but if they're men's jeans, guys, it was worth the $6 because they could end up being like $25. So, cross your fingers and wish me luck on that. <laughs> and leaving on that awesome high note, I will end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Skyler. I'm not a good reseller. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this and if it helped you get some ideas on things you could source or, you know, where your expectations may lie for certain items that I've had here. Leave a comment on certain things uh, that we talked about or just anything in general. Uh, try not to make fun of me too much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for future videos and see you on the next one.